There's still some time left today. Hmm. So... So, what should I do? Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I need to go find these Monokumas, and now that I understand that there should be three more somewhere, I just need to explore everywhere until I find them. I have no idea who I'm actually going to hang out with. Um, I, I imagine this is going to be the last time I can hang out with anyone, so... I could hang out with Maki. I don't think Kaito's gonna want to hang out. I think he's gonna be like, you know, he's gonna be like how he is right now. Um, I could hang out with Maki or Kibo. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I think I think I might. Uh, I think I might hang out with Maki. I, it's not that I don't want to hang out with Kibo, but I, I just feel like um, Maki's way more important to the story. <laughs> she feels pretty important to the story, I guess. Um, and I, I just don't think, I just don't think anything's gonna happen to Maki at this point. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, and this will be very sad. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, there, there you are. Come here, come here, you. I've been trying to think, like, what's going to happen if someone's going to, if someone's going to die or, I imagine someone's going to die. So either someone's going to die and we're going to investigate, um, who the, uh, who the killer is or we're going to go into some mastermind stuff but I have a feeling just with what we have there has to be another killing coming um oh look it's Kaito I don't think he's gonna want to hang out let me just talk to him for a second it's no use it's no use I wouldn't even know what to say to him yeah, see, they're not gonna let me hang out with him. Ooh. Alright. And I've noticed that, like, the game gives me enough time to actually, like, completely hang out with someone every single... every single free time, like, to max them out. So... That's good. Oh, right, I can also hang out with Samuki. Actually, I wanted to come here to triple check something. Let me look at the shelf. Yeah, there's another, there's another, uh, there's another spot on this shelf. So this is, we're definitely gonna have someone die. Okay. We're definitely, there's gonna be a, a, a victim and a killer for sure. All right. Oh. Whose body is gone? Shin Gonta are gone. Ha. I knew eventually one of you would be right there. It was so obvious that there was going to be one there eventually. Oh, there you are, you little sneaky one. No, 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 no. There we go. I had to use my mouse. <laughs> that was all four of them. And now, I guess I'll hang out with... Maki? Jeez. He tries to look cool by calling himself a hero. But whenever he does something reckless, we have to clean up after him. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Well... You need to take care of him, okay? That's your job as his sidekick. No, I'm not his sidekick. It's just hard to talk to him right now. I spend some time with Maki. Oh, 
Lucky and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's give her something. Whoa, what am I going to give her? What would she even like? Workout clothes? Uh, you know, I really don't know if she's gonna like it, but I'm gonna give her a workout clothes and see how she feels about that. Got a minute? I didn't think I would get something like this from you. I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Um. Hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Well, well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. But in assassination, organizations disband after they've become known. You're right. That is true. So what? If you want to know about my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey! Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No? That's the first I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Of course. Any normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. Hmm. A cult? What does that have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong to. Huh? You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. But... That sounds messed up. Sure, whatever. Oh, that, that sound made up. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all the staff are a part of it. The clients ask for consultation, and... The clients ask for consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well. Well. Yes, it does give off that impression. Well, being shady like that is just a cover up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she's just accepted that that's the way things are. Then. Then, I assume you're a devotee in this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true, I suppose she couldn't be. Well, there are several assassins besides me, but no one is about. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... So you don't share that kind of information with each other? That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She's just expect she's just accepted it. What did I say to put her in that state of mind? Hmm. Still a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories, I return to my room. some time. What should I do? We're gonna find Maki again. I'm kind of sad that me and uh, Kaito got into our, our little our little fight because I would have I was actually planning on hanging out with Kaito after after all the uh after, if 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 he made it out of this uh last trial alive. But since I can't hang out with him, I guess Maki's, you know like the best. Hey. I wonder. Why were the Gopher Project documents in Kaito's research lab? Why? Anakuma must have put them there for a reason. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, is there anything else we missed? We should check again. Aki and I investigated Kaito's lab one more time. 
Hmm, you must not worry a lot if you're given presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I'm mine. I'll take it. Hey! Hey, Pocky, I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use them all? Uh-oh, did I upset her again? Sorry. I'm sorry, did I ask something wrong? So what? Not really. Just think it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Hmm. Ah, is that right? Imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassination. That's true. I use those too, but I mostly have knives, also poison, sniper rifles, jujitsu, bombs. Huh? Bombs? Or an assassination? Okay. Warning kill has to be flashy. It turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. You can control an explosion to destroy just one floor? How frightening. No wonder she's the ultimate assassin. So it's rare to be that flashy, though. Normally, disposing one target is enough. Hey! So what kind of people have you assassinated? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, the only thing I know about assassinations from movies and stuff, so... I see. This will probably disappoint you, but I don't kill only bad people. Because? I kill anyone on my orders list. It doesn't matter who the person is. Hmm. I suppose that's just the way it is. I see. But also I had to dispose of people who I knew really well. Huh? Oh, well, like who? Okay. Friends from school. Huh? Friends? Why would you have to do that? Well... Daughter of a Yakuza leader. She was the child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Her father loved her very much, which was why she was seen as dangerous. The Yakuza's elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used her. Wait! What? But she didn't do anything wrong! Okay. Yeah, I did his order. I'm gonna go with this one. Just make sure you don't forget her. Um... Why? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't have time to remember every face I kill. Nope. But I actually do remember her. Is this... No, it's nothing. Well... You may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on the account of other people, but everyone does what they can to live. You and me, and everyone I've murdered. I kill, but I can also be killed. That's all. Cold and indifferent Maki had been overwhelmed by words. I've never seen that happen before. I couldn't think of anything to say. Whew. Maki. Staggering from the weight of Maki's story, I returned to my room. That's gonna be Monokuma. <laughs> is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes? Either way, He's got sushi on his table and I, oh god, I'm so hungry for sushi. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Huh? Is it gonna be Maki? Yay! Got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well, Kaido asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Huh? Your lab? <sighs> Might as well show him since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. Why is she wanting me to come along? Hey, Smoog. Um... Smoogie, what are you looking up at the sky for? Huh? Oh, Shuichi, I was just looking at the stars a little. I remembered something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Yeah. Remember after Kirumi's trial? Now that she mentions it. 
What's wrong, Golda? Why are you staring up at the sky? It just... Even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually, I was just thinking, the stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference, since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right. I need to think, Gonta. You're right. You're right. Hey! Hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. Uh, sorry. There's something I have to take care of. I see. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. Shuichi! It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out and about at this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. I see. Well... Well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. It feels like we formed the student council with Angie ages ago. A lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now, when we don't know Koikichi's whereabouts. You're right. I'll be careful. Ah, oh. uh, sorry I'm late. Hmm? hmm? Okay. Oh, so you came too? Uh, okay. Yeah. Silence. <sighs> As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? What? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know... But wow! There's a ton of stuff here! Can you use all these, Maki Roll? I see. Yes, more or less. So... <laughs> but there's no swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with the katana. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. <laughs> Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in it? Some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm, let's see. And then Kaito pulled something from the black case. Mm -hmm. What's this? It's a bunch of parts? I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Mm. Hmm, so when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Maki Roll, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure. Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Oh, I got a sinking feeling in my stomach. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then next it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh no! Please man, I can't handle this right now. Kaito's struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Whoa! Since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow! So what? It doesn't matter who builds it though. That's right. It seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Hey. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. Ah, uh, no, that's alright. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. Well, let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Yeah, so sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? <laughs> it seems like I'm not 100%, so I'm gonna go back first. Is that a minute? 
Hey. Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Jeez. Knew he wasn't the type to clean up. I never thought he'd run away with the crappy lie. How annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well. Ah, well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> You're the worst, too. Huh? Huh? Well... I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, I do. We we're trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But... But I don't know what to say to him. I, I had no choice. Gonta... If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. Sorry? Now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. The academy is full of mysteries and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaido. All right. We need to make up with him, for us and for Maki. I fall asleep thinking about it. <coughs> oh God, Kaito. Damn it. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? <sighs> okay. I'm of two minds right now. I'm of two minds. I I don't I feel like I feel like I, I I I know Kaito's going to die. What I don't know is if he's going to be the killer or the victim. Like I, I just I can feel it, you guys. I can feel that the story narrative has been building up to this point that Kaito's going to die. And I'm torn on which way it is. I'm also torn on Kokichi. I just I think Kokichi is also going to die. I, I feel like Kaito's going to be the killer and Kokichi's going to be the victim. Mostly because Kokichi keeps on doing this super antagonist sort of look, I'm gonna do a killing, I'm gonna do it, I'm really gonna do it. And it's like he's never going to do it. He's just he's just trying to like be that way. Which leads me to believe that Kaito is going to be the one to do a killing. Why this is going to go down, I don't know. I only thing I can figure is, like, Kaido really hates Kokichi and is just like, screw it. Everyone's better off without him. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I don't know. And the only thing I can think of is, like, maybe Kokichi kills Kaido because he knows that Kaito's going to die anyways and... There's some sort of reason why a killing needs to happen or something because... Some sort of master plan? I have no idea. I'm just I'm just throwing things out there. But it's a little sad knowing that another good character is going to die. I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Ten minutes. Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful, I want to print the words reckless beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. I just don't appreciate reckless beauties like you do. <laughs> this isn't an 
announcement for Rise and Shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there, embrace your homicidal urges, and have a fabulous day! I'm sure everyone is gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. Hey, Himiko. Hey, Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Good morning. Uh, okay. G good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me, too. I've even eating breakfast every morning now. Hmm. It'd probably be good if I kept up the schedule even after we got out of here. If I do that, that'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of the schedule, but I think they've grown a bit. It'll all grow them bigger and bigger this way, then no one will be able to call me tentless. Huh? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'll get going now. Kokichi's not here. Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. That punk. What are you thinking of? Huh? Huh? Well, you're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. What? Where is he? Sure enough, he's a master of hide and seek. It can't be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well... No. As long as Monokuma is here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway... Listen up. Listen up, everyone. I gotta tell you guys something. Kaito has an idea? It's a little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. Why are we ignoring him? Um, Though I do not know what crazy thing Kaito will say, we should hear him out. Hey, make sure you talk to Kaito. I will! I will. Uh, I wonder where Kokichi went. If he's off by himself, who knows what he's up to? Kokichi, too. What is Kaito planning? Let's listen to him and find out. Um, what's your idea, Kaito? So... Hmm? Oh, yeah! Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked around. Oh, no. Who looks like Monokuma isn't here? Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaito turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up! Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need your guys' help. Please. So please, help me out here. Huh? What? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on, what are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me! Huh? Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Since the Monocubs are gone, the exocells that are, were protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass. Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But, but Monokuma's probably got more spares. Would it be pointless no matter how many we beat? <sighs> then all we need to do is destroy them one by one till there aren't any left. But, but, but we don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the exiles, this academy is still under his control. Then, you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. If we don't stand up now, then when? Well, we don't have anyone who can fight like Gunter or Tenko. And then I'll just have to fight on their behalf. What? What? Well, I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki. Everyone! Let's do it. What? Huh? Kiba, you too? I heard it. 
My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, now is the time to stand and fight. It may be a dangerous course of action, but if it will prevent future victims, then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. I've been waiting for those words. Very well, I'll lend you my power. Huh? Were you really waiting for that? I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Yeah. Okay then, me too. You can't let the killing game go on like this. Hey, hey. You're going to join as well, right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. All right. So we all agree that it's decided. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yeah. Yes. Let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need to use my magic. No. No. I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well. When do you guys want to start? Fine with starting right away. Ah. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, because this'll be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. So you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself. Huh. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. Right. The battle's going to be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's all meet up in the gym. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. Mm. Is things really gonna go that smoothly? A fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but what's the sense of an ease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. Can't imagine he just ignored this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Ooh, another free time. Oh, there you are. Okay, you're down there. Kaito's been going back and forth between the gym and the school building for a while now. I think he wants to prepare for tonight. When I offered to help, he turned me down. I told him not to overdo it, but he won't listen to me at all. <laughs> what should I do? Maki looks like she's in a bad That's mood. True. Yeah, I'll make us clean as mess like he always does. Let's leave the pre preparations to him then. Hmm. I didn't know that assassins were scouted. That's right. Better if you didn't know. Also, there's no need for you to know. But gathering children from orphanages? I couldn't believe it. Mm. Mm. Do you want me to surprise you even more then? Huh? Huh? Well, the orphanage I was raised at was run for that reason. Uh, um, what do you mean? Okay. To raise potential candidates as assassins. What? You don't know? The cult donates to the orphanage as charity. That's believable, right? The amount of work I put in. Is the exact amount of charity given. That's how the exchange goes. Hmm. I see. How much is Maki carrying over on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. If I remember correctly. You said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? What? Are you asking if he raised me as an assassin? No. No, that's not what I meant. No need to be so serious. The man scouted me and put me in a training facility. That's... I remember you saying that the training was quite harsh. That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. The basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They, tur they physically beat us to help us withstand torture and taught us how to die when needed. How to die? Because. The only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? Dying sooner is the nicer way out. Much better than being tortured alive. That's... So you, you are trained to withstand torture? What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No. No, thank you. I think I'll pass. I can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. No. After they tortured us, all I could do after was just stare at the room ceiling. They tried to break me during the training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty. But even then, I found myself. And then they would do it all over again. 
It wouldn't have been strange if I broke during all that torture. But even so, I tried my best. I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. Most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. Huh? That girl? Sorry. Is, is she talking about, like, maybe a friend or a sister or someone important in the orphanage? That she didn't want to have to go through this? Sorry, pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. But... What? But... Shut up. It's fine. Just pretend. Okay. Alright, I understand. Really from Maki's incredible story, I returned to my room. Oh, yeah. Tonight, huh? I don't know what will happen, but I'll do what I can. Yes, let's hang out. Hey. And let's do some stretches. You'll need it. With Maki leading us, we spent some time training. Hey, hey. You look like you want to ask something. Huh? I do? <sighs> well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. I can't take back what I said. Hey! You're wondering who that girl is, right? She was a close friend from the orphanage. Hmm. A close friend? What is it? Why do you look so early? Ah, hmm. uh, I do? Weirdo. Yeah, you do. It's gross. Gross? Uh, um... I'm just glad that you have a friend like that in your life. Hmm. Hmm, I see. So that's why you're making a gross face. Back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. Is she angry about something? Sorry. I I'm sorry. So what? It's fine. Um... Then what did you mean when you said she would take your place? I see. Scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. Huh? What? Because... I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. She was very kind. Crybaby... She was very kind. Crybaby who easily got lonely and tried to be strong. She had been taken to such a place, and she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin, if I endured the training. But I endured the training. If she had gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. So she wasn't just doing it for the orphanage, it was for a friend as well. Okay. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, make sweets, and exchange them. We'd get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom, and I would play as the dad. Well, neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. So it was fun, huh? <clears throat> so it was fun, huh? Okay. Pretty much. I think that was when I was happiest. It was the dream for me. The next day would come, and the day after that would be just as peaceful. It was such a carefree time. I wonder how many people take that for granted. Oh. Maki has a girly side to her. <laughs> Well, I already knew that because of how she was acting with Kaito, but I'm glad I'm doing this with Maki. Maki shared more stories about the orphanage with me. Deep down, Maki is just like any of us. This is really helping uh, humanize her for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Monokuma's wise on us, guys. Oh, he's wise to us. Monokuma isn't here? What was that? N no. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure that everyone has already gathered there. <laughs> 